Never Stop Learning Week 162, we're going to take a quick look at the updated color panel available in Adobe Photoshop CC 2014. Now one of the first things I noticed when I first launched this version was we have a hue cube over here in the upper right section. Well at least that's what Adobe is calling it. If you click on this flyout menu, you see we have this option right here for a hue cube. I'm going to come down towards uh, the middle right here and choose the HSB sliders. Now this looks more like what I'm used to seeing, but even this area right here is kind of stretched out. So I'm going to grab this tab, bring it over here. Now I have this floating panel right here. I'll click and drag and just squeeze this up a little bit. Now this looks more like what I'm used to working with, but as you can see this area is kind of small, so it makes it kind of hard when you're choosing colors. So I would normally just depend on these sliders here, but with this version I could just click and drag on this corner. That gives me more of an area here and I can make a better decision on my colors. Over here in this flyout menu, I could choose whichever sliders I need for my particular workflow. And we also have a new option right here for this brightness cube. When I click on it, you see we have this cube right here in the center. Over on the right, we have this slider that adjusts the uh, brightness for this color. I'm going to click and drag to brighten things up a little bit. Now we have these colors here in the center. I'm going to choose a green color here. Now if I wanted to reduce the saturation, I'd bring it towards the bottom. And if I wanted to increase the saturation, I'll bring it more towards the top. I'll come back over here to the flyout menu and I'm going to choose Hue Cube. And just keep that in mind. If you want to click and drag, this will allow you to have more color options right here in this cube. I'm going to grab this tab, bring it over here with the swatches panel. You see our release. And now you see I have a little warning right here. If I hover over it, you see I get some helper text letting me know that I could get a color that's actually in the correct gamut. So if I'm going to send this out for commercial printing, I'm going to uh, want to choose a safe color. All right, so let's take a look at the old workflow so you can see why this update's so awesome. To change colors, I have to come over here to the tools panel, click on the foreground color, and that's going to give me this color picker panel. In here I could choose whatever color I need, but I can't make any changes to my document. And if you take a look over here, it actually changed the tool for me automatically. Now I have the eyedropper tool. So I could pick a color from my document and that'll be updated over here. I could come over here and zoom in, zoom out. I could even uh, pan around a little bit, but I can't make any changes to my document. If I want to make some changes, I got to get out of this mode here. So I'm going to click OK and I'm going to draw something out just so I can see what color I have. Now I'm not too happy with this color, so I'm going to click on the foreground, make a little update, click OK. I'll draw something out. This looks a little bit better. Click on the foreground, click a new color, click OK, draw something out. This looks pretty good. All right, so let me clear this guy out. Command delete on my Mac. Now let's take a look at how we would do this with this updated panel. I'm going to come over here, choose a new color. I'll draw something out. If I'm not happy with this color, I'll choose a new one, click and drag. And I can choose a new, another one real quick like that. All right, the reason I like working this way is it feels like I have a little inkwell right here like a big old box of crayons. I could just click right here, choose a new color, and then just start drawing something out like that. And there you have it, folks. That's the updated color panel available in Adobe Photoshop CC 2014.